We are at the Hoover Dam. This is the back side of it. And if the water gets too high, it'll come into here. And if it gets too high over here, then it'll go through that little hole, well, big hole, and go to wherever that leads. And it's so, really cool. What she's talking about is when the water overflows, It'll run down this, go into there, and if that overflows, then it'll go down into that dark tunnel, wherever <laughs> that leads to. We don't know, but back side of the Hoover Dam, so gonna go across it. It's a pretty long ways, actually, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna holler down the Hoover Dam. And you're gonna hear the echo, hopefully it'll pick it up, right? Oh! <laughs> that was awesome! That was awesome! <laughs> <laughs> that is the bridge we were just on. My <laughs> That's crazy how that's I echoed. wonder how it would sound to do a whole like That's really down. far away. Alright. So this is the hole that we saw earlier on the other side. And of the spillway that's over there. But where does that go? Who knows? Nobody. What did you read on the sign about the, um, I can't remember, like, about the, geez. The spillway? Uh, yeah, that. I can't so remember what it said. If ever the water was to come over this level, but if you look, you can see the where it normally is. Um, it's dropped about 150 feet, I said. So it would have to come up that much more and then some before it would ever come into here. And it's only ever happened one time. But these giant metal plates will flip up too and the holes in the side of them could either be shut. They have a little metal squares next to it. Those could be bolted shut or to let some water through. But then if the water was to come over that even, it would dump down into here and then go down through that tunnel, through the mountain, and out to the other side. Cool, cool. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Definitely neat place. 